Hi everyone, my name is Arun John, a Dell Data Protection Systems Engineer. Today in this short demo, I'll take you through data domain retention lock support for Beam 12.1. So let's get started. A data domain immutability feature is called as retention lock. Retention lock comes in two flavors, governance mode and compliance mode. Beam version 12.1 at this point in time supports only the compliance mode. A couple of things about the compliance mode. Once enabled, you cannot revert the lock, meaning backups are locked until the backups retention period are met. So there are a few steps we need to follow before we enable immutability on the data domain system. So in step one, what we'll do is we'll create a user on the data domain system with the role of a security officer and enable security officer authorization. So to create a security officer, I have logged into my data domain system and here in the UI, I go to administration, click on local users and click on create user. I'll give it a name and a password. Make sure you select the role as security. So now we've created a user with a security officer role. We then log into the data domain CLI using PuTTY, using the security officer's credentials, which we just created. And then type in the command authorization policy set security officer enable. The authorization policy for the security officer has now been enabled. So in step two, we will enable compliance mode on data domain. So to enable compliance mode, I log back into the data domain system using the sysadmin credentials. And then I type in the command system retention log compliance configure. It's going to ask you for the security officer's credentials, which we created in the previous step. You get a confirmation whether you want to restart the system. We say yes, and the system is going to reboot. So in step three, we will create a DD Boost storage unit associated with the Boost user for Veeam to store its backup. So we come back to the data domain UI and under protocols DD Boost, we need to make sure that the protocol is enabled. Once the, we made sure that the protocol is enabled, we go to storage unit, we click on the plus sign, and then create a storage unit for Veeam to send its backup to. We'll give it a name, and we'll also create a boost user. We'll get a password to, and we say create. Now that we have completed creating the storage unit, we'll proceed to step four, wherein we will enable compliance mode on the storage unit, which we just created. So back on the data domain CLI, if you type in the command entry list, it will show you the list of all the storage units available on the data domain system, including the one which we just created, which is Veeam storage unit locked. So what we will do next is uh, we will go ahead and enable compliance mode on this particular storage unit. So we go ahead and type in the command mtree retention lock enable mode compliance on the mtree slash data slash call one slash beam is used locked as you see here on the entry list and hit enter so it's going to ask you for the security officer's credentials which we created so we'll go ahead and enter that the retention lock feature is enabled for the entry of interest in step 5 using the veeam ui we will configure data domain as the veeam repository and enable immutability so here I am in the Veeam UI. What I'll do here is I'll go ahead and add the data domain system as the repository for Veeam. To do that, I click on Add Repository, click on Deduplicating Storage Appliances, choose Dell Data Domain, give it a name. Also the URL of the data domain in question. Here we give the credentials of the Boost user which we created. So I've already added those credentials in my case it's called the Veeam user and along with the password so I click on next next so Veeam has found that repository which is data domain system you click on browse when you click on browse it will pick up that data domain system it will also show all the storage units under that data domain right so we have two storage units here a Veeam storage unit locked and Veeam storage unit unlocked which I had created previously now the Veeam storage unit locked is the one which is of interest for us. Uh, this is where we configured the compliance mode of retention lock. So we will choose that and click OK. 
This is where you choose how long do you want to make those Veeam backups to be immutable for. The default is seven days. You can't go less than that. So it has to be seven days or over. Once you've selected that for this demo, we'll just keep it at seven and click a next. Click next and we'll say apply. So it's collecting all the information regarding the data domain to add that as a repository. So it successfully found the data domain and added it as a repository. We'll click on finish. So the next step, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create some Veeam backup policies and point those backups to the data domain system, in this case DDV09, and try and see whether we can delete uh, the backups from the Veeam storage unit, Veeam storage unit locked. So to create a backup job, I click on home, backup job, virtual machine, or give the backup job a name, Windows policy, next, I'll pick the machine which I want to back up, I'll keep the same retention policy, the default retention policy is seven days, I'll make sure that I pick the right data domain system, in this case uh, it is DDV09, so I'm going to pick DDV09, that is where immutability or compliance mode retention lock is configured. So once we make sure that we pick the right data domain system and the retention policies are set, click next. Click next. We'll say run the job after I finish. So the job has started. We will come back and check after the job is completed. So the backups have now completed successfully. So to check immutability, we will go ahead and try and see whether we can delete those backups from this particular policy, Windows policy. So I'll go ahead and click on uh, Backups, Disk. On the disk, you have this Windows policy, and then you have one restore points, which is the backup of that Windows machine. So I'll try and delete that backup. So click on Delete from Disk and say Yes. If everything works fine, it should not let that backup to be deleted. There you go. It throws an error saying that unable to delete a, a backup because it's in, immutable. And it also says that backup files can be only deleted after its a retention period. That concludes the demo showcasing data domain retention lock or immutability with a Veeam version 12.1.